Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel. My name is William Juma. In this video, I want us to talk about the filament import action. As a prerequisite, you must be able to have knowledge of Laravel, and you also need to have interacted with filament PHP. If you have issues with any of those two, please go and look at other videos that have been able to create that can be able to bring you first of all to pace with what it is that I'm talking about, such that you will not have gaps when we are discussing whatever it is that I want us to discuss today. I would like to mention what filament uh, uh, import action is. The import action allows us to import a CSV file and it can be a large file for that matter into our filament PHP um, Laravel application and it uh, uses um, job batches and Laravel uh, database notifications. So those two are the ones that we will actually be working on uh, when we are creating the filament import action. So let us go ahead into our code and see what we are supposed to do. So uh, in our official studio code, this is a Laravel uh, 12 application. And so what I'm going to do is to first of all create a model and um, a migration for a company or companies in this case, because the data that I'm going to import seems to be data that is related to, to companies. I can't um, say for sure, I've just picked something from the database and I've shared in the description below such that you can also be able to download whatever it is that I have as a, my uh, data that I'm using. And then you can use it also to just follow through the tutorial such that you have the skill that it is that we are actually talking about in this video. So let us go to terminal and I want us to run the command php artisan make full colon migration, maybe make a model, sorry, and you're going to call the model company and then we are going to tag the migrations. So I hit enter. Now migration has been created successfully. So we have the model in app models so we have the company model here and then of course um, also under database uh, migrations we also as a last um, uh, migration we also have the company's uh, migration in this case so basically we are going to edit this and be able to make it look like whatever it is that we are having in our csv so let me just uh, show you the data that we have in our CSV before we are able to uh, create our tables. So, so this is what we have in our Excel file or CSV file. So we just have some titles here, the widget name, the source, page URL, company, and then URL, and then city, then metro, growth, revenue, and industry. I've removed some of uh, the columns in this uh, data set for purposes of making it a little bit small for us to be able to work with it without any issue. So let's go ahead and see how we can be able to create these columns in our database. And then we can see what we will do. So I'm going to um, hop back to our VS code such that we can be able to type in uh, the values. I'll be able to have my Excel uh, file hand in here such that I can refer to, but then you can follow everything from VS Code as I do it. Now for each and every of these data type, I'm going to just use uh, a string for all of them. So table uh, string and inside here, we need to have the first one, which is widget name. In this case, I have a leeway of just making my my database to look exactly like the way my Excel file looks like. But of course, you may have a, a difference. So in this case, if you are having a difference, then you can be able to map them and say this name means this in the Excel file, and then you should be able to speak and continue like that. So then we have source, page URL. I'll duplicate some more rows, URL city, metro, and then we have growth, industry. I believe we have a column that is called revenue. And so basically those are the columns that we are going to work with in our import action. 
So what I'm going to do, I will run uh, some commands that are going to create the migrations for us for the companies in this case. So I go back to terminal and I just like to run PHP artisan migrate and hit enter. And now we have the company's table. I would like to show you what we have in our filament PHP web page when we look at uh, the dashboard. And so this is what we have. We don't have any resource here. And so I would like us to create uh, some filament resources. So we will go back to our VS code and I'm going to run a command here which will assist us to do that. So I will clear. Then I'm able to run PHP artisan make filament hyphen resource. Then the name of our resource, I'm going to call it company resource, like that. And since we already have our database schema, I can put hyphen hyphen generate as a flag, an additional thing. What that will do for us is that it's going to generate for us um, the filament uh, resource in this case. So this is what we are having in our in our Chrome. If I'm to refresh, now you see we have companies that has been added by just us running that one single command. And we also have the CRUD functionality for this uh, company's resource. So you can be able to create, edit, uh, delete, and update the companies just by that one single command and a database schema. So I would like it to open such that we see what we have inside there. This is what we have in the company's uh, CRUD uh, functionality or in the company's um, resource. And basically, you can see we can create a new company and uh, we can be able to have a table of companies here. We can search through and do all manner of things. So when we are doing the import action, we will have another tab here which will be import um, companies or something of that sort. And then from now we can be able to use it now to import from set Excel. But now currently we can just be able to create a new company manually. So let us go ahead and see the steps we are supposed to do for us to be uh, in a position to have uh, the ability to import uh, these companies that we are talking about. So I will go back to VS Code. And just to mention uh, one thing is that uh, this uh, filament import action usually has some dependencies. And one of the dependencies is um, the queue batches uh, table. So we, we are supposed to create that one. And then we also have other items which we need to create as we go. So let me just run the commands quickly that will enable us to do that. And then we will uh, proceed. So the first command that we are going to run is uh, the queue batches table. So php artisan make hyphen batches hyphen table. So hit enter. Net. And what we are getting is that the migration already exists and that is good because it means it has already been uh, migrated. And then we also need to have the notifications table. So PHP artisan make notifications hyphen table. And that one is created successfully and that is a good thing. After that, we are going to run um, a command PHP artisan vendor publish uh, migrations. And this one, this one I'm just going to paste it in here. PHP artisan vendor publish and then hyphen hyphen tag filament actions hyphen migrations. And now hit enter. And of course it is publishing some filament uh, migrations. And I believe that is done. Let me just extend this window a bit such that we can be able to see. Yes, it is done. Go ahead and clear the terminal. And after that, I would like to include um, or to go ahead and create our import action so that we are going to do to run the command uh, php artisan make uh, filament hyphen importer 
and then we will put the name of our importer. So in this case, I'm going to call it company, just like that. And since we already have a database schema, we do not need to struggle. We can just have generate like that, and it will generate our schema from uh, uh, the database. So I will hit enter, and now we have in a directory called uh, app filament imports and then we have company importer.php and i would just like to show you where that one has been created so in our vs code again we will go to app and then as you can see we have a new directory that is called filament and we have imports and inside here we have the company imports let's just take a look at whatever it is that we're having inside here in this file and then we continue like that so of course we are passing in the company model that is the one that is being referenced in this case and sometimes if you have the name being uh being inconsistent with the name of uh, the uh, the model that you're working with then you have to come and explicitly measure whatever it is that you want to talk about and then now we have a function here where we're getting the columns and these are the columns if you remember they're the columns that we have already been able to create in our in our database so we have widget and we think the rules is that uh, it is required and max 255 and that is just the rules for a string and for all of them i think we are having the same uh, kind of rules so you can be able to pass in whatever it is uh, as that you consider validation here where we are having the rules so this one uh, just um, validations and then we have a, a function here where public function result record and we are saying it's a company so it will be creating a new company we pass it and then once we are done this is the message that we will get in our notification and um, you can be able to check now once you you run port action and you've been able to import your your rows there are some which may fail and if they fail they'll be compiled into another excel file or a csv file and you'll be provided with it for download such that you can be able to check through and be able to correct anything that requires to be corrected or to be aware what has not been imported so basically that is it so let us go ahead and see how to use this in our filament resource so we open uh, up filament and then resources and then we are going to open the company resource now we scroll up until where we have the place where we are returning the table of course, above here, we have the form which we generated directly because we had all the columns in the database. So that was done for us by filament. And of course, you can be able to modify it to your liking. And then we have the table. And this is where I would like to uh, include a little bit more of uh, or include our importer or our input action for that matter. So let us go ahead and uh, do that. So we are going to include um, header actions and then we have an array of values and inside here we can say import action uh, make and we will chain importer inside the brackets we will have our import uh, company input class this one that we have in uh, here company importer class so we have company class like that and of course we have some squiggly lines that means we need to import whatever it is that we are having above here so I will pick the filament tables action import action for the first one and then for the company importer I will also uh, click on it and then also import it above there and just to show you what I have typed in I have um, app filament imports company importer so, so, so sort of like um, an namespace of uh, where this specific file is found and once we have that I would like us to go to Chrome and check what we have there and now inside our companies I would like to just attempt and refresh and of course i want to see if we have uh, a button here that speaks about our importers 
and you can see that we have in a button here that is speaking about importing companies and so if we click on import companies let us see what happens and yes we are getting uh, a model here where we can be able to upload our csv and then just go below here and click import and that is what we have now if i go ahead and attempt to refresh there's actually nothing visible that has occurred but of course i have received a notification that my tables have the rows have been imported and it has even told me how many rows uh, there have been that have been imported but uh, currently there is nothing in my table so uh, the reason why that is the case is because i've not been able to run the to run php artisan q watch so that is what i have not done and i would want to go to my vs code and run that PHP artisan Q watch like that. So I will run a PHP artisan Q work. And now you can see there is something that is happening and the records are being inserted one by one. If we go back to Chrome and attempt to check if we have any company uh, records. As you can see, we actually have uh, some records for our perusal. So we have uh, the company, the list, the URL, some bunch of meaningless data here with regard to whatever it is that I'm doing. But we can be able to get it that these records have actually been imported from uh, the filament import action. I'd like us to go back to VCode and see if all the records are done. And actually, below here, you can see in the notifications that we have a database notification for the records uh, having uh, completed. So basically, that is how you can be able to work with the filament import action. I have realized that uh, the database notifications are not set uh, properly well because we need to have um, the bell here, the notifications bell here, which will display to us um, the values or whatever it is that we have done has happened in our application. But I believe that is something that you can be able to check out one of the videos that I did on database notifications. And you can be able to configure it's just one line that you'll be able to do in the um, in the admin panel service provider. And then that will be it. So basically, that is all I had for you for today as it regards the filament import action. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please consider giving a subscription. And if you have a comment, a compliment, or anything you would like to share, please you can be able to share to the comment section below. Thank you very much.